All right, gals. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Okay. So, there's some cuticle oil on my blotter. Okay, so when my girlfriend Marcy and I, first I had a party and was like, love, love, love. Told her I was sending her some. And she had to try them and she was like, eh, whatever. Then she got them. And as they say, rest is history. So our constant struggle was finding or figuring out our best way to store our nails, right? Okay, so girlfriend made me this on the Cricut Nail Attic. Love it. Okay, so I started out with like a one or one and a half inch binder. And it was lovely for a bit. <laughs> and then I got a two inch binder. Um, and also, guess what? That was lovely for a bit. And then I was like, screw it. I don't care. I don't got to answer to anybody. Now we're doing a four inch binder. And my only complaint with the four inch binder is that you like, get black and white. Also, it's hard to find ones that are sturdy enough to really hold because this is not light by any means. There's, there's a lot in here, as you will see. So there might be a little ruckus in around for me to get this straight because I want you guys to be able to see everything. Okay, so when I open it on this little inside pocket, I keep my baby around the nail tape. And then this bag of the nail tapes that are on the sheets. If you watched the video doing these nails, you saw those in action. In this bag, I also have some super cute little um, gems and bits to use on them. And, if I can get them out, some little decals. Those ones are butterflies. Just, you know, random little bits, right? I'm going to keep those in that pocket. Now I'm thinking what I need to do so you guys can see better. Fold that over. Okay, so when you get your, let me take these tapes out of here and that will make it really flat. When you get your binder, the key for me anyways, what I think, and let me see if I need to reposition you so you can see better. Yeah, how's that? We shall see. Okay, so um, the key in my opinion is the D-rings because A, it lays flat like this and it turns super nice. Like everything, everything flows super nice. So, all right, I hope I'm not making you seasick. Okay, so in the front, I just have this little zipper pouch and it has um, partial sets. So, there's not a ton in here right now. These are those in Cocoa Bows that I used just on my last one. And the Sahara Jewel and the Champagne Sugar. So this I could do another set. Sometimes I use them to give to friends, whatever. A black, part of a Black Cherry Bon Bon, part of a Cosmic Cloud. This is the best purple that Color Street has ever done. And I'm not a fan of purple at all. But these were beautiful. I used them peeking out from something. Holiday Delight. I loved those. And I used them with all spruced up. This is a retired set. But I loved those too. This is my favorite Christmas set ever. Cookie Swap. It's super sheer. It's a burgundy and gold. There's little teeny gingerbread cookies and stuff on some of them. It's adorable. I actually my stylist hunted me down. This one is from, must be from last year. She hunted me down three sets, so I'm totally set now for a few years. And this one is How I Roll, and it's a retired petite set. It's so very cute with little moons and eyeballs and stuff, and I don't remember what I paired that with. I think I, I probably did it at Halloween time because it felt Halloween to me. Um, now I have a half set left for next Halloween. And you know what? People ask that all the time. So let me 
show that real quick here. So I showed my little mini flattener and I will show you this. And this thing, seriously, so see that how perfectly it just melted? And that was like a little two second zap. You can just, I mean, it is super, super melted. But I, okay, what was that? Hmm, I'll have to think. I might know, I might remember when I look through here. Okay. I just used a set though that was had been sealed for two years without literally zero issues when I took them out. None. They went on like they was fresh and new. Oh, and Cookie Swap, that had been sealed for just over a year and went on beautifully. Okay, so tabs. First section is nail art. So, you know, obvious, right? anything nail art. So these pages are for people that collect like old money, antique money. I don't know. Is that a thing? Antique money? What the hell? Old money. I don't know. Dollar bills. Who knows what they're putting in here? I know what we're putting in here. And Marcy found this on Pinterest. Now the only, which this is not a downside to me because like I've said, I'm not a stylist, but stylists want to keep theirs, you know, in the package. I personally wish that Color Street would make it so that you can order, I don't even know what they want to call it, <sighs> advanced, <laughs> I don't know, beginner, hoarder, something, call it something so that literally when I order all I'm getting is this. I do not need any more files, I seriously send them to every stylist I know. I don't use the alcohol pads because I think it's way too drying on my nails. I scrub my nails with um, Dawn dish soap before I do my mani and literally I never have any issues. So um, anyway, you can buy these in like a 25 pack, a 50 pack. Let me tell you what, don't try to trick yourself and think you need a 20 or a 25 pack because you don't, you need a 50 pack. Just go the cheaper route from the beginning. There's less than one. Okay, this is suit yourself by the way. That's duochrome, isn't it? Yeah, that one's duochrome. It's lovely. Okay, so um, originally what I had done was only put, you know, one set per pocket facing forward. Say I had 10 sets of Suit Yourself, I'd put them all in there, but I only had one kind per pocket. Well, then I just I had, I won't say I had too many because there's no shame in my game. I love them. I love each and every one. They are my babies. Um, but then I figured out if I did, um, back to back, then as I flip my world's most lovely book, I can see on both sides, right? Then I can see what's going on. So, um, like this one, the B one, and this was, I think this was a stylist one. Yeah, BU. It's so adorable. It's like a soft pink background with the little bees, but our school, our mascot is Hornets. So I got two sets of those because one day when we're back in person school, I'll be able to use them. Right? Okay. So let me see if I can move this in the more room. I need like a nail video station work on that. Okay, there we go. Now let me make sure I can see it in the video. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So, nail art. There's not any real specific rhyme nor reason to this um, other than it's nail art, right? Um, right now I have sitting out, because I'm going to do these tomorrow, is Snow Doubt and Blue Depest. Snow Doubt was from last year. Top 10 of my favorite sets in the world. It's a bit sheer. So when I use it with this bright blue to past, girl, mine will be blown. But I have another set of it here because I love it. 
It is stunning, stunning, like so underrated. Okay. Um, most of these are just a one. No, that is a lie, Stacy. This is another top 10 set. Hey, when we're all done, somebody tell me how many times I said it was a top 10 set. Harvest Blooms. This was Black Friday set last year, I think. I don't think it went over that great. It seemed like it was on the site for ages. And, girl, I just ordered it whenever I saw it. Then I used it a ton. And then I think that Shannon got me some more sets. Because she can do that for me. Um, so I tend to, whatever comes out currently, I tend to not use it until the next year. That's what I found about myself. So this is winter from this year. Um, I might still use it this year, but I doubt it. Uh, that's the pool one. Halloween, that dark magic. Amazing. Oh, I did use this year. This one this year, the Mary Berry, I think it was called. And I also hoarded a spare set of that because that set is amazing. There is my stash of cookie swap. And then these are some nail art little partial sets I have. Saved, um, Feeling Marvelous, the wing one. This is a glow in the dark. It's really cute. Super cute. I love the glow in the dark stuff, but it seriously catches you off guard the first time you go to bed with it on. Okay, this is like a little, um, bulk kit because I like in my head I keep thinking oh I gotta do these together okay so these were Easter sets but what I want to do is the pastel dots and the pastel plaid with London fog beautiful 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 so it would be spring uh, but not necessarily Easter right hue to hue I think that was last summer. Beautiful. Um, lots of foundation bits floating around. Okay. And then this tab is glitter dip. Oh no. It says glitter and dip, but guess what? That glitter dip section got too big very fast. So I ended up splitting out. So these are all just solid glitters. And there is some of them have many multiples, like Seattle Royal. That's a stunner. Stun. Stunner. Um, only in Vegas, I bet I have five or six sets. When my grandma passed, This was, that's her favorite set. And a bunch of my friends and stylist friends sent me sets. It was, was super, super awesome. Um, another one I have multiples of is Penny Lane, because when you wear it over something, it totally changes it and give it kind of a coppery look. Um, you'll see I don't have a lot of blue, but I have a lot of this, and I don't know what you call this kind of off blue, but I'm obsessed, this kind of aqua bit. This is dark green, by the way, you can't really see that. Okay, so this section, I kind of love a lot, even just to look at it. It's all these little ombre sets, and I have some ideas to do with them. I haven't got to it yet. Um, yeah, uh, another one I have a few sets of is Night Terror. That was Halloween this year. Come on with that micro glitter. Like for me, they could do away with the big chunky glitter and I wouldn't feel bad because these micro holographic ones are amazing. And Crantastic also. That was another one. That was Christmas this year. It was stunning. Okay, so then this section got turned into sheer and overlay. And it's like Tokyo Lights. Um not tiny and shiny. Glitterly can't. 
and I can use petites or regular size, either works for me, so I buy both if I find something I love. Um, these ones, most of them have multiples just because, I mean, it's a glitter dip, you're always going to use that, and once it's gone, you're sad, so get on it. Oh, here's another top 10 set, okay. Oh, this one was, let me see, a stylist, <laughs> a stylist friend I have in Hawaii, and when I used the end of my last of this, which it had already been retired forever, I sent her a message and was like, the odds of you having wing it on or being able to get a hold of one, and she did. So you look at this and think, it's not that awesome. I agree. Because I ordered many a nails with never ever ordering a set of these. Because I was like, eh, I'm not that pinky and purpley and butterfly wingy. But these are super sheer. And over a lemon yellow, good gravy. They are amazing. Um, they were also really good over orange. Oh, God. So good. So, so good. Okay. And then this. Laurel Gardens. This is one, a retired one from a few years ago. This was like a unicorn set, as people say, for Marcy and I. We wanted it so bad. I mean, look at it. It's sheer. It's black and it's like so good, right? And then we got it. <laughs> and neither one of us, the first time we used it, we were a little underwhelmed. So then when they re-released this, I grabbed it in their set because I thought, no. I have to be able to do better than what I thought it was the first time I used it. So, there it is. Alright, one of my very first sets I used and something that totally sold me on Color Street was this, Cans Fetty. And then it was gone. And I was very sad. And then they brought it back. And I bought a bunch because I the first time I used this... I did it just on bare nail. That's all it was, was that glitter dip. It looked so good. Not only did it look so good, it lasted 22 days. Didn't have chips in the tips. I mean, the, they looked amazing. So, you know, I also have a bunch of between the lines because it's between the lines. And seriously, you can always find something to do with it, right? All right, more glitter dips. Polka dot com, cause I love the dots. Less bitter, more glitter. This is a um, in cocoa set. Fairy lights, so pretty. Here's another top ten set for me. Um, thanks a million, man. I was wishing they were gonna re-release that this year. This was Thanksgiving last year. By Thanksgiving last year, Marcy and I had caught on to that. If you really, really love something. You get it. You go all in. You go all in. And you get it. Okay. Palm. These are some of the old overlays. A rose one. A paisley one. These are the new sugar and spice ones. Oh my god. I can't even tell you. I mean, obviously I have champagne sugar on right now. This is the peppercorn. Pink peppercorn. And it's so good. I honestly wish they would have done the pink glitter a little smaller, but it is what it is, and still it's lovely. Alright, now this section, it's not very big yet, the champagne sugar, but it is going to blow up. I had three girlfriends do parties this week, and every single order of mine is at least one of these. One order, I think, was three of those. I don't care. I don't care. I love champagne sugar. Look at that. You can't not love that. And and I don't care. I'm stocked up. Okay, don't look over here yet. Because you might not know what you're looking at. Okay, here, star for the course. Didn't order it when it originally came out. Because I was like, what am I I'm not going to do stars? Halloween, I used them. Amazing. So then I had to get some. Um, this is like love notes or letters or notes. That's last year's Valentine's Day. It's an overlay. So cute. So cute. I'd use that this year. I got plans. 
I got all the plans and all the hands, but not enough time to do all my nails. All right, here is my for real hoard. As I said before, if I love it, I don't care. I'm in. I don't drink coffee. So, this is Glitter Sweet. It has an entire page with multiple packs per pocket because I love this more than pretty much all the humans I know. And they did it as like a limited Christmas thing. And I was not going to let it be gone. If you know about Prism Break, which is what this originally was, was a four pack accent pack. You spent like $40. You got this little four pack of it. I went to Color Street's page. And every month or more, whatever I felt, I would chant for Prism Break to come back because I love it. So then not only did they give me Glitter Sweet, oh gosh, then we got this beautiful Champagne Sugar and the Pink Peppercorn and the, for the Purple Lovers, the Lavender whatever. And I ordered a Lavender one. We'll just wait and see what I do with it. If I use it or if I just give it to my mom because she'll like it. Okay, these are tips. The Gotham Knights is black tips. Beautiful. I rarely ever use them as a plain tip, but I use them for slants all the time. And they're just, you know, when they were going out, I picked up a bunch. And at the time, we didn't have a full black nail yet. Uh, what is this one? I love this one, too. And I only have one left of it. I can't even read it anymore because it's all smeared up. Something Milano, maybe? I don't know. But it's lovely and shimmery. And then these are just white tips. Um, also, at the time, we didn't have a full white nail either. This is another beautiful one. Oh, I don't remember which. I think I won it from Shannon. For I didn't like win it from her, but for a game. And it's a duochrome that goes kind of a soft blue to like a pinky. Crystal Gazy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful set. Um, and then let me turn on. These are, now we're into solids. And it's just, you know, as you would expect, a bunch of solid nails, right? I have multiples of, na of the navy colors because I love them. I mean, I love them. Uh, I have a half a Greek, you know, Mercy and I shared it because I was like, what if I want to do a little bit of something blue? Still, it's sitting here because I just don't know that I love that kind of solid blue. Here is another something I L-O-V-E. Top 10, probably top 4, is Holy Toledo. And so when they discontinued it, asked all my stylist friends. I have 6. And you think... Six, Stacy, that's a ton. No, it is not a ton. If you love it, if you love it, get it. It won't last long. Uh, oh, here's Havana Honey, which I said I felt like was about the same as the bows I did last week. Yep, and I still believe that story. Oh, that was the good thing about in Coco, which they're discontinuing, so it hardly matters. But what they would do is things would be basically the same color or the same style so you could get stuff that was close solids nothing real crazy there um these ones are my daughters which you will be able to tell because there is a lot of purple she does like it um and some dipped and some whatever you call that and print Okay, so these are, back here, I call this the up and coming. So it's stuff I've put together because I know I want to do it at some point. And a lot of times it's like half sets or whatever. So this is a Budapest and, oh, crap. Oh, I can't think what this is called. Christmas a year or so ago. Shoot. Sorry about that. I'm going to switch these out so I use this half set before I open the full set. Um, darn it. I can't think of the name of that. 
Marcy's yelling it to me right now because I think I shared that set with her. She shared that set with me. And then another one, yellow. I think that was Lima Lemons, which is, would like them to bring, actually I would love a mustard color. Can get on that please? And then that's Blue Lagoon, which is super, super sheer. So I'm hoping this is going to make kind of a cool greeny, yellow, greeny, blue thing when I do them. But I was thinking more like in the spring or in the summer, right? And I always paper clip mine together just because it makes it easy. And then, let me get this flipped back out of the way. So then, with that up and coming section, normally Marcy and I will Skype for a bit. And I'll be like, ooh, I want to use this, I want to use that. And I'll say, how about with this, how about with that? And she'll be like, mm, no, you need something with, um, you know, a bigger contrast or brighter color or this or that. So that's what I do. So these are sets that are coming in the next few weeks. And... I just have them on my desk because then I can just kind of go through stuff and decide what I'm going to do. So this is tomorrow, which is Blue to Pass and Snow Doubt, which is Stunner. And then I have these two pinned together, Trick or Treat Yourself. That was another amazing color, but this is my last pack of it. And then Catitude Problem. And I thought that orange would really make these orangey reds pop. And I don't normally do um, animal prints, so I thought that would be fun. This is going to be lovely. As far as chic, Venetian velvet. They'll be beautiful together, and I have a, a fun tip idea to try on those that I haven't done before. Oh, yeah. Okay, so drop the ball. That was a New Year's Eve one. And then golden girly. Gold. Um, dip. Yeah, this one might be really good. I have a good idea. A different tip idea with an underlay instead of an overlay. Um, snakes the day, except it's just the snake print because I liked that. And then some Gotham Knight because the green and black and this is kind of emeraldy. Should be stunning. Um, only in Vegas and A-Lister. This is beautiful. That was Christmas, maybe last year. Um, that is going to be something Valentine-y. Valentine-y. And speaking of Valentine-y, so is this. This was a set from a couple years ago that I missed out on called Belgian Delight. Um, found a gal who had a half set. And she sold it to me for $3. So, this has been sealed probably for a couple years, but they look and feel fine to me. But look, they're meant to be little chocolates. How cute is that? And then this is Best in Show, and it's like a dark brown and gold glitter. Beautiful. They should be amazing and look like chocolate candies. So those are two Valentine's Day sets. Trying to think how many Valentine's Day I gotta do. Um, these will be pretty just for the contrast. The Mermaid Brigade. And then this, I think this is my last one. Fire Island Flame. That was beautiful. And I bought tons of sets of this. And this is the last one of it. Um, it should really change the color. It should be pretty. And then that is a glitter sweet. Ooh! Glitter Sweet over Smokes on You. I saw somebody did that and it totally makes for a galaxy look. So I have those two pinned together. A plaid. Oh, with Crantastic. I really loved that. Crantastic. It's beautiful. I think they just restocked that. So if you don't have it, girl, get to getting. And then, okay. Oh, I wish they'd bring this back. I don't know how this is going to work because I don't have, I don't think I have a, like a full half set in here, but I'll make it work. This is 
one of the stylus designed, I believe, Atomic Sparkle, I want to say. And then my star for the course, and a half a night terror, but I want those two together. I think, I don't know. I might need to go with a bigger contrast, but I might have put these, I may put these together because I know there's, I think there's only a few nails left in there, like, I, I know I've used it twice, so it's not going to be enough for a whole half. And then, I have this whole shebang pinned together, and I don't know yet how it's going to go, because using four gets to be a lot, even though I do... I don't do a full nail ever. It still gets to be a lot built up, so I'll have to mess with it. But it's Plaid About You, Maiden Milan, Coming Up Rose Gold, and Moscow or Never. I just feel like they're all so pretty together. I mean, I don't know. I'll figure it out. At some point, I'll figure it out. So, and then I did order the key valentine, well I ordered all the valentine's day sets but um, I won't use them all for valentine's, the solids I'll just throw in my solid glitter section and then I'll use, I've got ideas for two of them so we'll see how that goes and then I just pick week to week except when it comes to holidays like valentine's day, christmas, whatever I do try to have like a plan right down because I want to know for sure that I get through all all the sets I had in mind even though they'll save for next year right so there it was gals the tour of a nail addicts binder hmm. I hope it gave you some inspiration and lets you know that never never feel bad about hoarding what you love because I mean come on that champagne sugar. If you haven't ordered this yet, girl, you gotta do it. It's so good. I mean, it is just so good. So good. Alright, see you tomorrow night when we do some Snowed Out and Budapest. Have a good one, ladies.